I feel like I'm slower than a lot of people. <laughs> You know when you bleach your head like 27 million times? Yeah. Yeah, your scalp doesn't like it. <laughs> What's happening guys? We're back again, we're doing it. Uh, today we've got a bit of a rainy day and we're not doing a whole lot, so we thought we'd build up the uh, the downhill bike. Hasn't been, hasn't seen a light of day since Snowshoe. Um, also, I'm not filming either, so <laughs> <laughs> let's go, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> One Scott downhill bike coming up. Fox, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> These things you already have to protect things that you love, like derailers. What else do we need? Oh, I need this shot. Wait, Mr. Cameraman, can you hold that? <laughs> I might put these ones on my bike, Dean. <laughs> Bars as well. I think I've got to put some down. Um, yeah, normally we work on this in the shed, but seeing as it's freezing cold and we've got a raging fire, um, house it is. Might be a bit of a struggle to get it through that front door, though. Suspension. I think I run about 90, 93 PSI on the fork, um, compression all the way, wide open, um, rebound kind of in the middle. Lucky like we got Syncross like in house with Scott, which is lucky. So um, when I first went there, I didn't really like the sweep of the bars or the height. So they actually kind of gave them the dimensions I wanted and they actually just custom made these bars um, just to fit me perfectly. So it's like you kind of just got custom fitted stuff when you need it which is lucky so literally you kind of <laughs> you don't have to get comfortable with what they've got you can kind of modify it to your own needs which for me is super beneficial because i'm quite picky about like anything in your cockpit like grips bars stem all that i'm very picky so it was like good that they were so open to actually like change things that i needed to change as well the bar that i ended up coming up with um i think everyone pretty much on the team runs it now like Flo, marin um, I think Louise, so like, obviously there's something good in the sweep. <laughs> Do you reckon that's a good PSI to run your tyres at? Uh, I'd actually run less, um, less, depending if you're riding on sand or not, or mm. if you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Do many people run the mullet setup? Um, pretty much now most people do. There's a few people that run 29 front and back. I know Greg Minard is one of them. Um, Charlie Harrison's another one. But there's not many. Most people run the mullet now. I was running the XL, um, as a mullet and then I went back to the large 29 front and back and then I decided to go back to the large in a mullet and I think this is kind of the best. Why do you like uh, running a mullet? You can get further back in the bike and it's like you don't get kicked as funny like at some of the like at world champs you really notice the back tyre like can like buzz your ass and kind of kick you over the front so you feel more planted on the bike um, it feels a bit more twitchy, so you definitely notice that like you've got a smaller wheel, but I think on the whole it's like you can throw the bike where you want it and feel a lot more comfortable. When you've got the 29 front and back, yeah, it does kind of feel faster in some spots and feel more stable, but I don't think you can really throw it where you want or turn on a kind of a dime, like into real tight awkward stuff. So it's like, someone explained it makes the easy stuff easier and the hard stuff harder. So I think it's like, you want the hard stuff to be easier and the easy stuff doesn't really matter. So that's horrible! Oh, it's like playing that game like, what did I forget to tighten? <laughs> Let's this find out on the first run! <laughs> so we got back from Melbourne, got my juicer, got my cat. Uh, the air fryer's inside, I kind of didn't want to unplug that and bring that out, but we did get the air fryer as well. And the 300's in here as well, we've got everything we've got from everything. Melbourne. Um, now that we've got all the things I require, we thought we might ride downhill again. So <laughs> we built this thing up the other day. Um, we're going out now to Mystic to get some shots, um, shoot a few photos, get a few clips, and yeah, just kind of, kind of try and get used to the bike again. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been on it. All right. <laughs> yeah. In my helmet, shoes. Dean Lucas gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Merch drop. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. All right, let's go. Let's go. Post. You can get your money, girl. So we've, a got, question. we've got Isabel out here for her first ride in uh, the Mystic Mountain Bike Park. How do you feel, Isabel? How do you feel about this first outing? 
That's all I got. <laughs> I think we'll start off um, and do when Shred Kelly's last stand. There's like some big rollers and stuff, but you should be fine. How confident do you feel? I, I will 10 because I actually have no idea what to expect. What do you mean 10? You feel com you have confident levels of 10. Head on! <laughs> off the brake! <laughs> I have no doubt because I don't know. Big of choice today. The last. The last. Yeah. Yeah. Are you worried now, Dean? I'm extremely worried. <laughs> Get the big rig off, mate. That's what everyone wants to see. You happy? <laughs> you happy you've dealt with all the motocross stuff? Now I can ride something I'm good at? Imagine if I sucked at this as well. <laughs> that would be annoying. Why do you want to ride shreds, mate? Um... Easy. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, like a few little gaps I fixed up that I kind of want to do. I think you get some pretty cool photos. Um, and then we might ride the bottom of elevation as well. Because again, easy, you know. <laughs> keep, we're gonna keep it easy today. Is that where you broke your finger earlier this year? No, that was that was that was World Cup. Uh, <laughs> was that this year? Earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. it was this year. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. That guy. That guy <laughs> if, you can, if you can see that. She's uh, still fat. Yeah, it's still pretty fat. Speaking of Dean Lucas and Chagos, what are these? Oh my god, wow. Oh my god, oh my god wow. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. This handwear.com. Yeah, in, so in stores now. You gotta be matching. Someone got a dirty right in the damn two stroke in the bush. What? You you have a two stroke, I don't have a two stroke. It's actually yeah, mate, look at that. Blue on blue on blue. <sighs> Catch up. E man away! <laughs> I don't think I can like make that look good and then gap this. We'll just maybe focus on that for the photo. Yeah, I'll just try and make that look semi decent. A bit better. That's pretty sick. Pretty naughty. <laughs> Pretty naughty. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Can I see? <laughs> Money. Oh, we can't see it in the camera at all. Oh, sick. What the hell? It's that, that easy. easy. Yeah. Okay, so camera does all the work, time. yeah. It's hard. Like, you gotta sprint and then you gotta pump up everything perfectly. Too bad. I start to feel the unfitness. Oh really? Unfitness? Dean Lucas? Unfit. <laughs> At the moment, this is day one. Day one pre-season, it's going well. So you promised uh, you promised some mountain bike content, Dean, and you're currently uh, just uh, riding flow trails. I thought you were a downhill guy. <laughs> Nothing. An unfit. Low fail rider. Stop this! <laughs> Ooh, you can do nothing with that one, mate, and you know it. Alright, yeah. we've warmed up. We can go to the downhill track now. <laughs> yeah, flow man's done. You're right. some rough stuff. And she's back on! <laughs> 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 <laughs>